Welcome back to another Ski Boat Service video by SkiBoatPartsOnline.com. I'm Ron Tannis and today we're going to take a look at installing a Ski Boat propeller. There's a number of videos out there on removing a prop, but I do have uh, and receive recurring uh, issues with boats that uh, vibrate uh, and it's because a prop was installed improperly. So we're going to show you the key area that people tend to miss when they're installing the ski boat prop. Here are the uh, parts or tools we're going to use. Uh, obviously we have a prop, uh, we have the keyway that goes in there, a file, a, uh, we're going to use a new prop nut uh, and a block of wood for holding the prop still when we're tightening it. Okay, the first thing we really want to do is make sure that the key slides in and out of the keyway slot on the propeller and also on the prop shaft. If there's a little burr or it's not sliding freely, which is typical, uh, I prefer to use a hand file. Set the hand file down and then simply take the uh, key and rub it back and forth against the file, uh, rotating it so you get each of the four sides of the key uh, nice and smooth and flat. Uh, then you can take it and put it back into the prop, make sure it's sliding freely, nice and easy, no burrs, we're good to go. Uh, on this job we're using a brand new prop nut. Uh, they tend to be very aggressive on the ni nylon insert side, so I always put a, a liberal amount of grease on the nut uh, to help it uh, thread on without galling the threads of the shaft. Okay, you're going to want to position the shaft so that the key slot is uh, near, near up position so it doesn't fall out. I've got it on a bit of an angle so the camera can view it. But here is where people tend to make a mistake. Um, if that key is slid too far forward, uh, the prop can push it up and put the key in a bind. You see it's trying to slide the key up there you want to make sure that the key stays embedded into the propeller area and not uh, launching on that upward slope where the machining process on the shaft has created a little slope. If you do that it will cause the prop to cock on there and uh, it will tighten down, it will look right, it will feel right, uh, but it's on there cockeyed, it's not on there straight. Um, so that is the key to putting on a prop is making sure that the keyway is or the key is in the keyway properly and it has not slid up the shaft. Uh, if it's allowed to slide up the shaft and you tighten it down, you're going to have a shaking boat. Now it's just a matter of tightening up the nuts. So we're going to try to speed this up. The last thing we have to do is put a, uh, a cotter pin or a safety pin behind the lock nut. Um, if your cotter pin has one ear already broke off, replace it, put a new one on. It's rare that you can uh, use a cotter pin more than uh, twice. Uh, uh, three times you're really stretching it, so we try to put a new one in there most of the time. Bend these uh, tabs over all the way uh, so you don't uh, collect weeds when you're going down the lake. Um, you'll see how I do that. It's not a, not a very difficult thing to do. And that will complete the propeller installation once we get this last tab uh, folded over all the way. Uh, hope this helped a little bit. Uh, let's keep these ski boats, classic ski boats running and on the water for a good many years to go. Hope this helped. Thank you and God bless.